Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Road Trip Adventure. Last time we had a lot of really annoying lag, but hopefully we won't do that this time. So, today, I don't know what we want to do. Um, we've kind of done, already kind of done everything around Chestnut Town other than go and talk to people. Um, so I guess we could do that. Um, something I remembered that I did in the very first attempted recording of this that I forgot to do in the last episode, in the, like the, well, second time recording the whole thing, but really it was like six different clips that I had to edit together. Um, let's see, wait, they both have a billboard? Hold on. Okay, that was Arnold. Matil is the other one, I think, that needs the billboard. Right? Right? Wait. Oh, there it is. There we go. Now they, Now as they drive around, they will also get money for us, so that could be useful. And today, uh, we're gonna just at least start by just driving around and talking to people. Uh, namely over here. There's definitely some people over here, I think, that we need to talk to, if I remember correctly, which I might not. Uh, there's this house here that I kind of forgot about, and I don't remember what's inside. Hello. Huh? Oh no, you mean Big Bang. Oh, is art an explosion? Uh, explosion? What? You? No, no, you don't get art. No, no. Study art and come back. What's up? What's up? Oh, oh, they're using that now. What's up? He, didn't he say it was an intro to a comic skit, though? <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to actually start using that. Oh, yes, you are wonderful. You know art. You do get how wonderful this painting is, right? I'll give this to you. Um, I mean, it's better than some modern art that you see nowadays. M. Carton's painting. Maya Carton. Okay, interesting. I painted this. Treasure it. Was up. I, th I thought that was like, like it's supposed to be an intro to the comic skit. I don't know. Maybe I misread it and I wasn't paying attention. I was more focused on the fact that the stupid recording was having problems. Okay. Um. <coughs> oh no! I didn't want to fall down here yet. Okay, it's fine. Well, now that we're down here, let's go talk to some people. I guess. Hey, who are you? Air feels fresh, makes me want to race with my teammates, but I can't seem to get the right teammates. Uh, wait, no, 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 we're good. That thing very dumb. I was driving and the air was so fresh and I got carried away and I fell off a cliff. I was surprised. You should drive carefully. Why are they saying it at the end? Was I really just not paying attention? There was a cool red car there that I kind of missed. Recton, um, oh yeah, I, I, we did talk to him. All right, well, we're gonna have to go change that. If, that, if, there, if that's gonna be at the end of, of everything that people say, we're gonna have to change it, if they let us change it. Who are you? Did we talk to you yet? Uh, join a wonderful team. A lot of people wanna be teammates around here, but... Very sorry, I'll be careful with this guards. Okay. Who are you? Come back. Mojo, other... Other face of Chestnut Canyon. The fact is, hot magma flows under this dry ground. There may have been a volcano long ago. And there's an iron making factory that utilizes it. The entrance is near the cliff on the way to Mushroom Road. Try going there once. It's a fun place. Okay. Uh, cool. I want to find that red car. Where's that red car that we passed? He looked cool. He caught my eye because he's red. And I like red. Oh man, it looks like they're up on top of the cliff edge here, which is gonna make them a little bit harder to get to. See, there's a lot of people driving around here, as you can see. Who is this? Who are you? I talked to you yet? Guano. Mushroom picking. Mushroom road to pick mushrooms, but I'm tired of it. I want to live in a cool city. Uh, yeah. What a cool name. I, I'll, I go, uh, I'll go there. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. My mouth isn't working. Or my brain. Um, who is this? No, come back. Oh, just barely passed him. Come back here. Leon. Big golf course, Mushroom Road. I want to play in a big golf course at least once. Do you want to go build a golf course? Because there's a city for that. Um, who's that? Okay, that's that guy. Uh, who's this over here? I think we talked to you? No, we didn't. Which part shop do you go to? I think you're a little slow. Speed doesn't just come from tires and engines. See you. Okay. Um, where's that red car? Who's this? Who, who are you? Who, oh, oh, that's one of my teammates. Okay. 
Where'd that red car go? He must have fallen back down in the place again. Oh, maybe not yet. He might be one of these over here. Oh, you look, uh, it's a coin. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a coin. Um, who's this? Ah! Hi. No, 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 no. We already talked to you. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess they're all back in the little canyon again. Who's this right here? I'm gonna just let them drive by me so I can see who it is. Okay. No, that's, I think that's the, the guy that just... Recton is his name. It's a weird name. Um, it must be one of these two cars up in front of me here. Uh, yeah. Oh, you look cool. You look really fancy. Hang on. You want to be my teammate? City with a park since I was little. We don't have a park in Chestnut Canyon. Uh, yeah. Do you want to race though? Cause you look really cool. Oh man. Why do the cool cars don't want to race? Okay, um, there's one more thing I just remembered here in Chestnut Canyon that I want to at least try. And then we will, I guess, move on to the next town already. Um, there's honestly not a whole lot here. There's not even a shop of any sort. And I kind of want to see if I can change that, that phrase that I came up with. Because I thought he said it was at the beginning of the thing, but maybe I just misread it. Oh boy. Ooh, that was close. Alright, that's where you do the rock climbing, which we are not really well equipped for yet. <laughs> and if we come back here, you can see on the right there's an entrance to something. Oh yeah, it's up there. I forgot about that. Okay, well, we're, we will go up there and do that then. It's just gonna take a minute to get up there. Around this uh, rather treacherous road. But, if we can do this without falling off... To go to the last uh, normal... Whoa! The last normal building here that we have not visited yet. Ah! 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 No! Okay! Wow, that was close. I didn't know that edge was so close. Okay. Um, it's kind of in front of this house, isn't it? Yeah, so it's like... Over here-ish. Uh, there's one post of the bridge. There it is. All right, here we go. Hello. Hey, you came at the right time. I'm Rourke, the boss of this Volcano Course work site. I forgot a wrench, but I accidentally tripped. I'm hurt, so I can't go get it. I'm sorry to ask you this, but will you go get the wrench for me? Uh, listen to the rules. Here are the rules. Use the narrow scaffold to make an iron, made of iron, net to bring back the wrench in the toolbox. The scaffold is very narrow, so don't go too fast. Once you fall out, you'll be returned here. Yeah, sure. This is another little activity. That can be very difficult. Because you need to, like, have good brakes, and you need to be able to turn really well. You need to be good at judging uh, when your car is lined up or not. And as you can probably guess, the downhill parts are the worst. And you probably just want to go first person at least to get you started on the downhill ones. There's a stamp for doing this in a certain amount of time. Um, I'm not going for that right now. Pretty much, uh, to get that stamp, you have to kind of do this like without stopping for the most part. Which is not easy. As you can probably guess. No! Alright. See, that's why you need good brakes. <laughs> um, I feel like there's a good reward for doing this. I want to I wanna be able to finish this. <clears throat> Recording still looks okay for now. I don't know if it uh, had a problem and then went back to being normal again or what, though. Alright, let's get up here. I don't care so much about time. I'm just trying to actually finish the thing. There we go. Woo! 
Ooh, that was close. It's really hard not to uh, overcorrect your steering. And I know I'm being a little bit quiet here, but I'm just really, really trying not to uh, fall off. And this one you can kind of go straight through, as long as you stay straight. But you gotta be careful over here. Oh man, yeah, this is a long course. And, oh my goodness. Wow, that was close. Just nice and easy, there we go. Yeah, it. Uh, even if one of your tires, like your back tire or something, misses that the corner of this uh, thing here, it, that's usually all it takes, and you're going, you're going off. So you have to be very, very, very careful of that. I think uh, this next ramp is the last one, or at least I hope it is. Yay, we did it. <laughs> hey, thanks, you're a great driver, you're a great help. Come again. Okay. What's the time limit that you need to do it in for that one stamp? One minute and 10 seconds. Yeah, as you can imagine, that's not very easy. And we definitely cannot do it with our current parts. So, uh, that done and out of the way, we'll go to Mushroom Road, I guess. Slightly um, disappointing amount of stuff to, or disappointing lack of stuff to do here, but oh well. The racetrack is kind of cool. I like the racetrack here, so that's nice. And as soon as I can, I would like to paint my teammates, get the team colors going here, but there are no shops here in Chestnut Canyon at all. So as soon as you get out of this canyon here, the road will kind of change a bit. Well, not as soon as you get out of the canyon, but soon after. And now we're going to uh, like a thick forest. Hooray! Mostly straight road, um, mostly. Except for when you do stuff like that. Whoa, whoa, a little bit of a slalom there that I did not navigate all that well. And then there's this cool little part here. There's like a wooden pathway, and here we are, Mushroom Road, just like that, nice and quick. So Mushroom Road is right here, and White Mountain is next, but uh, that, well, I don't know, that might be next time. Uh, pfft, there's not a whole lot to do here either. Uh, hey, what's up? What do you wanna do? Change parts, race, uh, race? Let's start with a race, why not, right? Oh, there's two tracks here, oh, good. That's, that's good. Okay, well, let's let's wait a second here. Um, I want to look at a part shop. I want to look at what else is around. So those are just two quick pick shops. That's just a quick pick shop. This is a part shop. What kind of parts you got? You got good brakes? I want some good brakes. So, Mad V2. I have a better engine than that already. Um, let's see, sports. This is what I have now. That's the next best one which could be, so better top speed. What's, what gives me uh, good top speed and acceleration? Okay. I want more acceleration mainly, this is the one of the big things. We don't have any brakes? None? Oh man. Uh, we don't have like hardly anything in here, dude. Okay. Semi-racing, racing wet, HG wet. Okay, these could be useful on one of these tracks, or both of them, probably both of them. See, I could get wet tires, or I could do like one race and try to get HG wet for myself. That would be helpful. Though I don't know how good on wet roads my current tires are. They are HG off-road, so I would guess there may be two or three stars on wet, but we'll look at that in a moment. Because do you remember what that one person said about uh, a ghost of a, of a person in the lake down here? Well, let's go investigate that. Let's see. Mushroom Tarn, okay. Into the lake. 
Oh, loading screen, what's this? Who are you, goddess? Hee 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 hee. I'm the goddess of this pond. I've been protecting it quietly for years. You have dropped... What? I didn't drop anything. I like you, you're honest. For being such an honest person, I will give you a special horn modeled after my singing voice. Cool. Hee hee. Alright. <laughs> Interesting. I understand I'm not the best voice actor. I get it. Um... And now we're underwater. All right, let's get out of here. That's just a bar, we don't really need to go in there. Golf club? Oh yeah, golf club. Let's check this out. Hello, this is Jumbo's golf course. A total of nine holes await you. It's fun, would you like to try? Do you want to go to the golf course? Let's listen to the rules. Here are the rules. There are a total of nine holes. Hit the ball by bumping into it and try to knock it into the hole. All you have to do is drop the ball into each hole, try to finish the course within or under the par. Par is a certain number of golf strokes for, for each hole. Well, Jumbo has set the numbers. Uh, you want to go to the, yeah, let's try it out. I don't expect this will go that well, but uh, okay, this is pretty straightforward. 175 yards, clear view, par 3 hole. Watch for ponds to the left and behind the green. And go! Yeah, we don't have a ton of engine power right now. I don't remember this. Like, not even a little bit. That might be a little too hard. Uh-oh. Oh, good, the pole is a physical object that stops it. <laughs> Yay! We... With our current parts, we couldn't actually get a hole in one right there. Alright, hole number two. A little bit farther and some angle. Watch for bunkers in front of the green. Okay. So it doesn't count as a shot until I hit the ball. Which means I can get a nice line up here and like run backwards. Can I go off the green or not? Eh. Yes, but it's a uh, weird thing, it'll mess me up as far as my... It'll give me a accidental jump, which I don't want. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, that's not, that's not awful. And hit it! Uh, I'm not gonna get the bunker, which is good. And if I line it up, I could maybe hit it straight into the hole, which would be great. So let me line this up here. As soon as I know I'm lined up, like perfectly. Okay, here we go. I need to hit the pole. Or just do this. Oh, go, go, go. Nice, made it. All right, that went pretty well. Par, cool, I'll take it. This this could take a minute. <laughs> All right, got a zero there, that's good. It's decent, par five hole with right angle curve, need longer carry distance. Okay. Well, since we just gotta give it a good whack to start with, it looks like. Let's do that, shall we? Charge! Yeah! So, I wonder, uh, since this appears to be a perfectly elastic collision, am I transferring all of my momentum to that ball? Hmm? I doubt it. The physics are not... probably not that good in this game. Yeah! That was a pretty good hit. I'm hitting it as hard as I can just to get it forward right now. It's rolling a little bit down the hill. And... There it is. Okay. Let's get a slightly different approach on this guy since now we can probably get it around the corner. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Oh, how far around the corner can I get it? I could get it like, uh this kind of angle. That'd be pretty good. I can even get it at sort of like a... No, not at that kind of angle. Let's try to get it like... Yeah, let's just hit it like this. But let's get some speed first, of course. And... Here we go. Yeah! 
If we can clear the corner, we can try to go for the hole next time. We might get par again. Uh-oh, it's rolling and I can't see where it's rolling. <laughs> Forgot I had that horn equipped. Okay, can't see where it went. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think we can have enough power to get it in the hole. But we can get it pretty darn close. Um... I gotta be careful not to actually run into it if I'm not ready. Okay. That looks pretty good, I think. Alright, let's back up. If I can just back up in a straight line for, like, a really long time and give this thing an incredibly solid smack, that'll be perfect. Okay. Let's try to be doing, like, 100 by the time we hit it. Yeah! Hit the pole, hit the pole, hit the pole, hit the pole, hit the pole. Or just go straight in. Nice! That was awesome! We got a birdie again. Alright, that went pretty well. This is the fourth hole next, okay. I always like mini golf. Mini golf is fun for me. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, calm down with the staring there, bud. Okay. Hold on. Okay, we can line this up now, I think. Oh, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Okay. The problem is that we don't have enough runway to get, like, a lot of speed. So I don't think that is going to be as much of an option for us here this time. Okay. It did offset us a little bit. Should be fine, though. Yeah! Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be real close. Par is three. We'll probably get it in two. Hopefully, if I don't screw this up. Now, I don't want to hit it too hard. I just want to hit it pretty well. Just try not to hit it too hard here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. No! Oh, man. All right. Well, I'll take par, I guess. Man. That sucks. We might not get to do any of the races if uh, if this takes as long as I think it's going to. Well, that was four, so we're almost almost halfway. Ah, I don't like the looks of that bunker there in the middle. Hmm. If I'm gonna get it over that bunker, I gotta have a ton of lead up to this, and I could try to. No, I don't want to try and do that. There's bunkers over there. I was gonna try and hit it like around the curve, kind of skip some of the curve, but there's a lot of bunkers over there that I don't want to end up in. So, let's just go for a straight shot, and hope for the best. Don't roll, don't roll, stop. Okay, good. Okay. Now. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did I get over? No, I didn't get over. Dang it. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, hopefully we have the engine power to get through that. Where is it? There it is. Alright, well, let's just, uh... Stop, stop, don't, don't hit it. Okay, hold on. If we're gonna have to hit it out of here anyways, let's hit it as straight towards the flag as we possibly can. I'm only on three shots, so I've still got two shots to do this. If I want par, which I do. Uh, boy. Okay. That is pretty good. Right there. This is probably going to be really difficult. Let's try to go, like, all the way back here. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Ah! <gasps> go, 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 go! Okay, we might be able to get par if I don't screw this up like I did last time. That was a really good shot, considering we started in a bunker. Alright, nice. Now, let's not mess this up. Oh boy, I'm a little squirrely. Yeah. Hit the pole, bounce, nice! Okay, good thing it didn't bounce too hard. You stay in that hole, you. Stupid golf ball. <laughs> Alright, we got... Oh, birdie. Oh, we did it. We got a birdie. 
I, did, I thought we were gonna get par there. I, was, I wasn't keeping track very well. Okay, that's five holes. Total, at, we're at uh, a negative three, which is great for now. Um, there's a bit of water there. Very narrow strip of of non-green between the water and the green. Hmm. Watch for a bunker and a pond behind the green. Okay. Let's see. Par three. I know we don't have the power to make a hole in one, so I'm just gonna shoot it more like in a thatterly direction, so I don't hit the water. That way I know I will not hit the water. It's gonna be a two-shot uh, hole either way, at best, no matter what I do, so I might as well play it safe. Yeah. Don't land in the bunker. Why do you hate me? Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, well now we're probably only gonna get par. It would be pretty crazy if I could actually make it going into the hole from back here. From a bunker, nonetheless. Ah, we just don't have the engine power to make these insane shots. Okay, that looks reasonably good. If I go all the way back, this could work, maybe. Minor, minor adjustments here. I've got to be going absolutely full speed when I hit that thing. Yeah! Oh, wow. Okay. Well, now I've really got to do this right. That didn't happen the last time we were in a bunker. Okay. Let's line this up again. i got to be able to hit that flagpole. Okay. Let's see. We're pretty well lined up. Uh, I just messed it up. Uh, we're still lined up pretty well. Okay. This has to be, like, near full power. Well, in the famous words of Jeremy Clarkson, Power! Go for it! Oh, I jumped over it, but it worked! Pull, 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 pull. Yes! Thank you, Janky Physics. Par. See, Jeremy Clarkson was right. Power. Power always works. <laughs> so we've got birdie, par, birdie, par. Right? Birdie, par, birdie, par, birdie, par. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna birdie this time. Keep the pattern going. Whoa! Par five hole. Need longer carry distance. I'll say. Okay. This is, uh... I don't know if I have the engine power to make this an under par... Because that's all this is, is like, how good is your engine, pretty much? How fast can you go with this much room? Now, this time I have a lot more room, of course. But still. 1,344 yards. Alright, let's 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 try this again. Get a huge run-up this time. Get right up against that tree line, and let's go. Charge! Charge forward! Power! Yeah! Okay. Uh, we can do that one more time and see how far we get. This is not... <laughs> I don't think we can do this under par. I'm looking at this now, I'm like, eh, I don't know, unless we really send it flying on this next shot. Also, I would like to readjust my angle of attack here a little bit while I can still see the ball. Let me make sure I'm lined up with it. Yes, I appear to be lined up with the ball. We want to send it a little bit more to the left because that's where we're going to have to go for the flag. Um, but there's no bunkers or anything to worry about, which is nice. This is going to take up the entire episode and then some, but oh well. It's a fun little thing. Charge! Full speed. Well, close. Yeah! Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. I don't know. Maybe we'll make par? If we're going to make par, the last shot has to be absolutely perfect. Which I have a feeling it won't be. Now we're off the green. Okay, now... May have shot it a little too far to the left. Where is the hole, though? Let me. I want to scout ahead and find the hole. Oh, it's all the way up there, huh? Jeez. I'm 
let's be careful not to actually hit the ball. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let's see how good of a smack I can give this guy on this shot. Ah! Oh, it's sailing pretty good. We might maybe just barely be able to get par, but otherwise it's going to be under par for sure. Maybe by one. Ah, so close to par too, man. It's just a really long hole. Okay. Let me go get it lined up. I'll reverse, and we'll take another shot. But I don't think we're going to be able to get it on the next one. Looks pretty lined up to me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Go! Oh, wait, maybe, 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 maybe. Come back down, come back down. No! No! Oh, so close. Dang it. All right, it's going to be one under par. Assuming I don't mess that up, too. Ah, oh, man. So close. That was a good shot, too. All right, we'll probably have enough uh, power to just do this. There we go. And hit the pole, and it's in. Alrighty. Yeah, bogey. But there was nothing better I could have done there. Alright, so now we're at a score of minus two total. U-shaped par four hole. Watch for the bunker in the middle. Gotcha. Alright, so we want to go this way, of course, first to start with. But we don't want to hit it into the bunker. We want to miss the bunker. Which means we want to hit it slightly more this way. <clears throat> yeah, that should be good right there. And missed the bunker. Nice, just barely. <coughs> it's pretty much right at the halfway point of that U, too. Oh, stop rolling. Okay, good. I was going to say, don't you dare roll down into that bunker after such a nice shot. Okay. Almost done here, guys. I know this might be getting a little old at this point, but I'm, I'm kind of having fun with it, to be honest. This is kind of fun. It's a neat idea. Okay. It does remind me of the Achievement Hunters playing uh, 3D Ultra Mini Golf, though. Just some of the awesome commentary that went on in the head. <laughs> Let's not back up into the forest so hard that we shift our car left or right. Get it! Okay, we're probably going to get one under par, I would guess, if I don't mess this up. And hopefully I don't. The good news is if you manage to hit that pole, it, it seems like you're pretty much guaranteed that it's going to stop. Just because of the physics of the game. Like that. Perfect. So we got our we got our score back to minus three, which means we have a lot of leeway on the last hole. But I don't know what the last hole is. I don't remember which one we haven't done yet. Minus three, okay. This one. Oh, okay. wait, what? didn't we... Blind diagonal par five hole watcher a pond and bunker. I feel like we did this one. Didn't we? Or did we just do one like really similar to it? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we must have just done one similar to this, because this feels real familiar. Interesting. Okay. Well, obviously, we want to go that way. As much as we can. Well, not as much as we can, but. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. This is not a lot of power, but... Yeah, that wasn't great. But it's par 5, so it should be good. My goal is to finish under par, pretty much. Like, I want my total score to be negative. That's, uh, that's my main goal right now. I assume there's a stamp for that. So, yeah. Here we go. And... Uh, yeah! Oh, we might get a bunker. Or the water. One or the other. Or neither? You'd be close. I'll tell you what. I either want to hit it left or right of the pond, obviously. I'm not going to try to clear the pond. Well, maybe. Hold on a second. 
what are the consequences of getting it in the pond? I wonder. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, no, I really shouldn't do that. Uh, let me just try to go to the left of the pond, because this will let me have more of a run-up. So that I know I won't get in the pond. Um, there is a bunker back there, though, and I don't want to hit that. You know what? Let's try to go to the right of the pond. Which means I need to be, like, over here, and I'm going to have to turn during my run-up, which is going to be annoying, but I'm going to have to make it work. Okay, here we go. Let's start from back here. This is going to be really awkward to do. Because i got to go at it like this. Oh, perfect! It was so perfect! That was amazing! I didn't know how that was going to work out, but it was great. Okay, we might be able to get one under par. That was amazing. That went exactly how I wanted it to. Nothing ever works as well as I want it to. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Last shot, hopefully. Oh, this is gonna be... Oh, maybe not. See, I didn't calculate this part. I didn't count on having such little run-up. I forgot about this. Okay, we might get par. So we're gonna have to just give it a little baby tap, pretty much. Oh, boy. Power! Not from this range. Nope. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh. Nope. Okay, that's fine. We'll get par. I'll take par. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't care. That's fine. And just to make sure, let's make sure we hit the pole. There we go. Just to make sure it goes in and stays in. Alright. Had some good shots there. I know that went on for a little while, but, uh, we did it. There we go. Minus three overall. I'll take it. Hello. Good game today. It's your first time, but your results were excellent. Please come again. Okay. There's no, like, bigger reward for that. Uh, played all holes in golf. Played below 36. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, there we go. So, there's that. And I'm just gonna head back to Q's factory. Um, and I guess we'll have to call it an episode, because otherwise it'll be way too long. So... Yeah, I, uh, I didn't expect that to take anywhere near as long as it did, but I probably should have guessed that, so I apologize for that, but I hope that was somewhat enjoyable to watch. I had fun with it. Um, change parts. I just want to look at my tires real quick before I forget, because I know if I wait until tomorrow, I will wait. I will forget. Two stars. Okay, two stars off are on wet roads. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Um, but I think we'll call that an episode. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Road Trip Adventure. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.